Hey folks, my name is Erin McGough and I'm a filmmaker and content creator based in New York. And today we're talking about my viral and kind of famous template that millions of people have used to answer the most difficult yet most important job interview question ever, tell me about yourself. So this is a template that I made and that I've just used my whole life. And like, I don't know, New Year's Day 2021, I posted it casually on TikTok. How to answer the most annoying interview question ever. Tell me about yourself. And it literally changed my life overnight. Like I remember I woke up the next day, I looked at my phone and I had 300,000 followers. Like I was like, what? <laughs> I went from, from zero to today I have over 3.5 million followers. It just keeps growing and it's all because of this one video that I made. Since I posted this video, literally millions of people have used this template, which is wild to think about, to crush their interview and get their dream job. And now I'm going to teach it to you. Okay, so answering the question, so tell me about yourself in a job interview seems really simple, right? Just tell me about yourself. Do it. Tell me about yourself right now. See, it's not as easy as you think it might be. Who said it? I think it was Martin Scorsese said, simple is hard. This interview question is actually incredibly difficult. How are you supposed to sum up your entire life in like two minutes? And you have to do it in a way that's relevant to this interviewer. The way that you are gonna spend two to three minutes answering this question is going to determine the fate of the entire interview. What the interviewer is really saying is, hey, I've interviewed like 10 people today. I've looked at like 200 resumes. I honestly like didn't even have time to review your application. Like just, just tell me who you are. Just give me a little refresher. They are inviting you to kick off the interview. They want you to introduce concepts and show them how you ended up in front of them. How did you end up in this interview? And you want to think about it backwards. Instead of just telling them who you are, you want to think about, hmm, how can I describe their next favorite employee to them? When somebody is interviewing you, they're just looking for things. They're looking to hear certain keywords, certain phrases. They're looking to get a, a general vibe from you to like your personality, to like the things that you say. And they're also on high alert for red flags. So sometimes open-ended questions like, tell me about yourself can be a great way to kind of like get that stuff introduced because you're gonna say things that aren't necessarily a clear answer to one question, but you're just going to offer up information. So with the question, tell me about yourself, I have a template to answer it. It's going to work every single time for you. But the most important thing during this video or after this video to write out your answer and then to memorize it. So to practice it over and over again, practice it with family and friends, you want it to be like clockwork. So you can just go on autopilot and answer your tell me about yourself. Okay, I don't know what my hair is doing in this video, but now it's gonna be like this. <laughs> you can't make a first impression twice. You have one chance to make a good first impression. At the end of the day, they just want to see a capable employee that can do the job well, that can play nice with others. That's all they're looking for. So when you are answering this question, you just want them to think at the end, wow, the person sitting in front of me is a great fit for this role. They're capable, they're professional, they have the proper experience, they have the proper skills. That's all we want them to think, okay? We're not talking about anything else that will not be conducive to that thought. So let's talk about some mistakes that people make when answering this question. The first mistake is rambling. So tell me about yourself. Uh, well, um, yeah, so I, uh, I, I, um, I grew up in DC and then I, I went to middle school, I went to this small school and then I, I actually went there for high school too. Um, and then I have a bunch of older siblings. They actually went there for school as well. And then I, I, well, I wanted to go to film school, but originally I wanted to school for marketing, but I changed my mind halfway through and I ended up going to film school. Um, and, and while I was there, I thought that I was going to like work at NBC, but then I realized that like I want to work in documentary. And then, so I kind of changed my mind halfway through and then I decided, you know, maybe, maybe I want to work at this company, but then I, I tried to get an intro. Stop. Stop it. Don't ramble. We don't want to ramble. And the way that we're going to avoid rambling is by filling out the template and memorizing it. We don't want to ramble. It's a very bad sign. The second thing that I just did that you don't want to do is tell your whole life story. Okay. It's just like your resume. We only want to include relevant information. And the third thing that you don't want to do is just repeat your resume. This is really common. People will go into an interview, tell you about yourself and they just repeat it. My name is this, I went to school here, I worked here, I did this, I worked here, I did this, I worked here, I did this. And like, yes, that is like generally what you're doing with the telling about yourself question, but you need to make personable tweaks so you're not just repeating what they can already read, but rather you're telling the story of your resume. So what is this template that I've been talking about? It's very simple, very intuitive. All it is is past, present, future. 
all it is. And so your past is pretty straightforward. You know, maybe give an example of maybe where you came from, where you grew up, if you feel comfortable sharing, where you were educated, where you went to college, where you've lived, all those kinds of things that you did before today. Then we have present, which is what you currently do, where you currently work, where you currently exist, what you do, how you feel about what you do. And then future is just a sentence or two about your future ambitions, what you would like to do, what, what you're interested in. And that's where you tie it back into the role. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute when I give some examples. But with this three-part template, you're telling a story about yourself. You're saying, this is where I came from. This is what I'm currently doing. And this is where I want to go. And that's what recruiters want to hear. They want to hear about your qualifications, your story. You know, maybe you've hit a bump in the road. Maybe you had a little bit of a rough start. This is a good way to kind of explain to them what they couldn't gather from your resume. So let's talk through some examples. Example number one is somebody who maybe didn't go to college, but they're applying for a customer service or retail based job. Sure. So I grew up here in New York over in Queens and my mom actually owned a hair salon growing up. So I guess you could say customer service is in my blood. I graduated from North High School where I actually played varsity volleyball for four years and I'm looking to go to community college soon after I've reached my savings goal. When I'm not working or studying, I like to hang out with friends, try new restaurants and go on walks with my dog. See, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, just a nice, simple, personable tell me about yourself. Example number two is a stay-at-home mom trying to get back into the workforce after not having a job for two years. Sure. Well, I'm Mary. I'm an executive assistant with over five years of experience assisting a variety of C-suite executives. I'm a strong communicator. I'm detail-oriented and discreet, and I work well under pressure. I can juggle many different tasks from booking travel to managing calendars and emails. During the last couple of years, I made the lifestyle decision to step back from full-time employment to take care of my two young children. And honestly, it's only strengthened my organizational skills, poise, and patience. And I've been waiting for the perfect position to pop up, so when I saw this role open up at ABC company, I knew I had to apply. So do you see how that example got a bit more into the weeds? She talked more about the, the details of the role that she did because she has five years of experience. She's probably applying to something where they want like a more mid-level career professional. And so she listed out, you know, booking travel, being discreet, managing emails. Those are things that she would find in the job description and she's repeating them back. Also, if you are a stay-at-home mom trying to get back into the workforce, you don't have to mention that in your tell me about yourself. It's entirely up to you. If you think that that'll lead to you being discriminated against, feel free to not do it. However, I think that if you are going to mention this in your tell me about yourself, talk about how it was an active lifestyle choice and now you are taking your time with trying to find that next perfect position. You don't want them to think that you are going to half-ass your job now that you have kids and they're going to distract you. You really want to show them that you are a dedicated professional and that you take your job very seriously. Example number three here is a recent grad who has a little bit of internship experience, but this is their first job that they're trying to get out of college. Sure, I'm from Chicago. Chicago. I'm a proud Midwesterner and I graduated from Northwestern with a degree in marketing. In college, I was highly involved in campus activities and I interned at two marketing firms. I'm really interested in digital marketing. I have experience in display advertising, paid social, Google AdSense, but I'm particularly interested in how the creator economy has opened up a whole new era of digital marketing. I'm really interested in working with integrated partnerships with lifestyle brands. So when I saw this position open up at Studio Company, I knew I had to apply. Okay, so you might be noticing a little theme that I have kind of at the end of all of these tell me about yourselves. You want to tie it all together and like put a little bow on it. So I love when you're telling this, this career arc story to end it with, and that's how I ended up here. When I saw your position, I knew I had to apply because of this. It's kind of like your thesis statement. It shows how these building blocks have led you to this job and it makes the recruiter think, oh, okay, I understand. This is why they're interested in this role. And next example number four is early career. I'm Erin, I grew up in Maryland and I went to American University for film where I was able to work on a ton of different production sets and intern at companies like National Geographic. Currently I'm working as an editor for a production company that mainly does branding and commercial work. And I'm really loving all the projects I've been able to work on and the clients are great. But now I'm looking to pivot my career a bit more into the nonfiction space. So when I saw Production Studio had an opening, I knew I had to apply. I mean, that docu-series on Netflix last year was one of my favorite I've ever seen. So some light flattery definitely doesn't hurt. You don't want to overdo it and you definitely want to be genuine when you're giving, you know, compliments to a company. Don't compliment a company that you're not genuinely a fan of or else it's just going to come across 
what's the word? Disingenuous? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't want to come across just like a suck up. But if you have a genuine compliment for the company, if you really like a, a project that they did, tell them. It, it shows that you did your research and that you would actually be a good culture fit too. Also, you guys can always use like, you know, ChatGPT or something to help you get some more ideas for this. But you know, at the end of the day, you just want to tell a little story of your life. You don't want it to be more than two or three minutes and you just want to end it with, and that's how I ended up here. And you just want them to think, wow, this person, they're a great fit. We should just hire them right now. Come in here, bring the paperwork in HR. We just need to hire them. <laughs> and a little bonus example, example five, is just another one to get the wheels turning. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I studied communications at the University of Maryland because I actually really wanted to work in politics after school. I really wanted to work in DC. And although I found out that I don't love the politics route, I do still love working in media in DC. I currently work for a big media company as a coordinator where we mainly work with the real estate and tech industries. But going forward, I'm looking to focus more on digital marketing in the intersection of platforms like TikTok and Instagram and AI. I feel like we're on the cusp of this new era of marketing and I feel like this company probably has some pretty cool projects in the work that I would love to be a part of. And in my spare time, I like to do New York Times crossword puzzles, go to O's games, and go on runs with my dog. I love adding just like a little personal thing at the end there and, and never make it anything even remotely controversial. Like, like the O's game thing, I wouldn't maybe mention that you're a Cowboys fan in DC, you know, like don't, don't do anything like that. But you know, like wholesome hobbies. I like to go on hikes. I like to hang out with my dog. Like these are things that everybody likes to do. <laughs> so I love to just mention those little things because you know, they give the interviewer kind of like a positive association with me. Like, oh, okay. This person seems like a good culture fit as well. So that is it. That is a template, past, present, future. I encourage you down in the comments to write your tell me about yourself answer. And maybe we can even turn this into like a little networking thing. We can all get to know each other. <laughs> but remember interviews, they go both ways, okay? You're interviewing the company too. You're just trying to see if you are a good fit for each other. Leave any questions down in the comments below. And remember, you got this. I'll see you next time.